pandemic with travel bans, reluctance to share vaccines, reducing the aid budget, the aid budget, and more recently, the UK not availing its unused SDR reserves. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Berna, actually, I think when you look at what the UK did during the, the pandemic, it was, it, was, it was pretty remarkable. And I know that, um, that you know, we, we would always want to, to do more, uh, but particularly when it came to uh, vaccines that you, you mentioned, um, uh, we supplied the people, the, the Oxford Astra, AstraZeneca vaccine uh, that was supplied at cost, thanks to the, the deal that we did with with AstraZeneca, thanks to the investments we made uh, in that project, 1.4 billion doses uh, were distributed around the world. It was, it was the world's most popular vaccine, I think. And, I mean, I had it. I don't know if anybody else has had AstraZeneca. Uh, it, 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 was, it was something that uh, was made possible thanks to the, uh, the contribution of the, of the UK, uh, of UK ODA spending, and I think that's a, a, a great, great thing. Um, James, uh, but, but by the way, may, may I say, as, as an outgoing chair and officer, you, you mentioned the, uh, my, our job as chair and officer of the, of the Commonwealth. I just want to pay particular tribute to, to Rwanda uh, for what they're doing. I think it has been a fantastic uh, summit so far, and I wish them uh, every possible success. I wish President Kagame every possible success. Uh, James Karahanga from the New Times. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you, Prime Minister. I had I listened to the responses you gave the UK Parliament a few days ago about the question of the genocide fugitives in your country. And I keep wondering, is justice delayed, not just denied? What's your take on that? Yeah. Is it even a commonwealth value to delay justice for over two decades? Thank you very much, James. And uh, this is a, is a case of the, uh, the, the, I think it's the four genocidaires uh, who, are in, who are in London. And uh, I answered a question in Parliament the other day. And uh, look, I went to the, I went to the, uh, the genocide memorial uh, yesterday, and uh, you, nobody could go there without being absolutely harrowed and, uh, by uh, what happened here in, in Rwanda. I understand people's feelings. And so what I said to... President Kagame yesterday is that I will do everything I can to try to expedite this. It is in that, so, so you understand, it's in the hands of the Metropolitan Police. Uh, I can't intervene uh, directly, uh, but I will certainly be raising, uh, raising it with them. And I, I, look, I, I understand why uh, people in, in Rwanda feel, feel as you do. I, t I completely agree, and uh, that's why uh, I, I've said what I've said to, uh, to, to you, uh, to, to President uh, Kagame. Uh, if we can do anything more to bring uh, genocidaires uh, to justice, then we will certainly do that. And what I've said I will do is raise it with the, with the Metropolitan Police. And uh, we're having, as you know, a new, a new head of the Met uh, very soon. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I was going to knock it on the head there, but I can see I'll take one more question from, from, from Beth and then, and then from you, sir. No, I didn't say that, yeah. But all of it down to it down to far more to that today. He said supporters were quite distressed and disappointed by recent events and he shared their feelings. He said we cannot carry on as business as usual and someone should take responsibility. And then he said volunteers and staffers deserve better than this. I know you've dismissed suggestions you design as crazy and intend to carry on with one the confidence vote. But I imagine some colleagues back in London might be pretty astonished watching this press conference, given that you've been asked repeatedly and you don't seem to acknowledge that you could be part of the problem. You and your conduct could be part of the problem uh, with voters. Why, why won't you acknowledge that? I mean, you're safe. You, you've won the conference. Let, 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 me, let me try to give you, give, you the, give you the best answer I can, which is that, you know, first of all, on Oliver, uh, I think he uh, did a lot of uh, good work, particularly uh, as chairman, but also as, as Secretary of State for uh, DCMS, 
on, on broadband rollout, uh, on uh, veterans affairs and, and other things. I thank him for, uh, for his service. But I I'm genuinely, genuinely don't think uh, the way forward in British politics is uh, to focus on issues of uh, personalities, whether they are mine or others. The way forward uh, is to make arguments to people about change and improvement uh, that we are delivering. And that is what I want to do. I think the, the government has got some difficult stuff right. People are now going through uh, a tough time. We understand that. I think that we have the, the best way forward. I think that we understand how to fix our economic issues, how to uh, make sure that we have a, a stronger economy. And that is what we're going to achieve. I think some signs are uh, are promising, but I, you know, I've, got to be, I've got to be clear with people as I was during the, the pandemic. I think um, it will take some time and there will still be some, some, some tough times ahead. No doubt, uh, Beth, people will, you know, will continue to, to beat me up uh, and, and say this or that about, you know, and to, to, to attack me. That's fine. That's quite right. That is the job of politicians. In the end, uh, voters, journalists, they have no one else. Uh, to make their complaints to. I have to, I have to take that, but I also have to get on uh, with the job of delivering for the, for the people of this country, and that's what I was elected uh, to do. And I'm going to take one last question. Prime Minister, my name is Ethan. I'm from Rwanda TV. One, um, Rwanda and the UK are working together on several development projects. As a matter of fact, the UK is the biggest donor in Rwanda. Are you satisfied with the results that you've seen so far and your few days here? And uh, what memories do you take with you back home? And if you could as well tell us, Togo, Gabon, and Zimbabwe are requesting to rejoin the Commonwealth. Do you have the latest uh, from the meetings you had? Thank you. Well, thank you. Well, look, I, 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 I was longing to come to Rwanda. I was very sad that the, uh, the summit kept being postponed. Uh, it has certainly lived up to my uh, expectations. It's an incredible country, and uh, clearly the product of really vaulting imagination, uh, to take somewhere that we had really been uh, in the, the, the very depths of despair uh, after the, the genocides, and then to work and work and work to create a, 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 a culture, uh, a, an environment that is clean, uh, focused on uh, so many things, so many values that I think are, are admirable. So, uh, you know, whatever the, the difficulties that uh, may exist between uh, my country and, and Rwanda about this or that, and of course there are going to be issues that we're going to continue uh, to raise, and, and quite, quite properly. Uh, but my overwhelming impression is of a, of a remarkable country, and I wish I'd been able to see, uh, to see some of the, the countryside, but I, I, I haven't. Um, uh, I, I, on, and on your question about uh, uh, Gabon and Togo, we, we'll just have to, uh, to wait and see. And Zimbabwe, that is a matter for the, for the Commonwealth. And I've taken two more. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.